Hey everybody, uh, so I wanted to do a very quick um, uh, week three update. Um, to be honest, I wanted to try to record this a little bit later just so that way I could talk a little bit about grades, but I haven't finished grading everything yet. I'm still in the process of working through the exams, but you can expect those probably in the next 24 hours um, to have those done and back to you. I'll probably send an email update just to let you know that you can check and find those on Play-Doh. But I wanted to talk very quickly about a couple of things uh, as you get into this week's assignments. Uh, so this week here, if you uh, check out week three, uh, we are now diving into um, higher order perception, or excuse me, higher order visual perception. And basically what that means is that we're looking at where we came from, which is the very simple basics of vision, to now expanding to thinking about how that vision works with the environment. So uh, chapter five is about color. Uh, and I mentioned in the previous uh, uh, weekly update that I think that that might be one of the trickiest chapters aside from chapter three. So let me know if you have any questions about that. Um, so we got color and then we're moving on to spatial perception, which is all about how we perceive where we are in space. In other words, how is it that I can tell that and how you can tell that this coffee is uh, is in front of me, right? So it's not really occluding, or sorry, it's not really covering up any part of my body, right? So here you can easily tell that it's in front of me. But how is it that you can tell that here it's in front of me, even though it's not really blocking anything? So we'll be talking a lot about how we uh, are able to judge where things are. Uh, and then in uh, chapter eight, uh, we are going to be talking about motion perception, so how things move around uh, on the screen. And so this is one thing that I want to point out, is that for chapter 8, I am changing the uh, the chapter discussion. If you logged on, and a couple of people emailed me, if you logged on, there were a couple of videos there that no longer worked. And the reason why they no longer worked is because uh, I uploaded them and uh, tested them out, and they were fine, uh, and then uh, they were taken down for copyright reasons, because uh, I tried to host them on my Google Drive uh, folder. So those two documentaries were both 90 minutes long. Um, and uh, instead of having you do that, I have decided to scrap those plans and basically just kind of go back into some of the things that we talked about in chapter six. Um, so in chapter six, you're going to be uh, looking at uh, the magic eye. Um, uh, actually, let me let me let me go back to chapter chapter five and, and walk through these different discussions. So in chapter five, I'm going to have you watch a video uh, of your choice about um, the in chroma color glasses. And basically, what these glasses do is that if you have a certain kind of color blindness, you can put these glasses on and you can see color for the very first time. Uh, you've probably seen videos of this on YouTube, and uh, what I'm going to get you to do is to watch one of these videos and then go to the in chroma website and try to explain, in layman's terms, exactly how these uh, classes work based on what we've talked, based on what we've learned in chapter five. In chapter six, uh, so chapter six, here we are gonna be talking about the magic eye um, uh, posters and art. You may have seen these before. They were really popular in the 90s, but I'm gonna have you create one of them post it online, and then your classmates have to try to guess what it is. Um, and so these can be solved using depth perception uh, cues that we're going to be talking about in Chapter 6. And then Chapter 8, like I mentioned, it was going to be a set of movies, but I'm changing that to be more depth perception talk. So here we're going to be talking about the visual cliff and a depth perception test. Both uh, are, are they're very short. Uh, it's not going to take up too much of your time. Uh, so that way you can spend more of this week focusing on studying and preparing for the exam, doing the quizzes, than watching two documentaries. Um, uh, so those are posted on here. Like I said, one is a video and one is a uh, very quick uh, test for you to do. And you just have to answer both of these questions about it. But I think it's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you notice that there's something that's not working, again, please let me know, and I'm happy to update that as quickly as I can. Um, but I think that's it. So I will email you very soon whenever uh, grades for your papers and for the exams are posted. See you soon. Bye.